For a long time, only two companies made graphics cards for computers NVIDIA and AMD. But now, Intel has also joined and made their own graphics cards called Intel Arc. There is a rumor that Intel might launch their next generation GPU called the Battlemage GPU. So in this video we are going to know about all the rumors about the Intel Battlemage. The Battlemage GPU is a new graphics card that will come after Intel's first try, the Alchemist. It could compete with the next new graphics cards from Nvidia and AMD coming out this year. There are different rumors about how powerful the best Battlemage GPU will be. Early rumors said it might have 56 cores and run at speeds up to 3 GHz, making it as powerful as the Nvidia RTX 4070T. Rumors claimed the top Battlemage model would have a 256-bit memory bus and 116 MB of cache memory. But newer rumors suggest Intel may focus on making a good mid-range GPU instead of competing with the highest-end cards. The likely version could have 40 cores for mid-range performance. Rumors point to a 192-bit bus with only 8 MB of normal cache. However, it might include a huge 512 MB of a new type of cache called adamantine. Intel hasn't explained what this adamantine cache does yet. We don't know exactly how well the Battlemage GPU will perform until we see official tests and benchmarks. But Intel says it should perform as well as high-end competitors, and may have special improvements for artificial intelligence and ray tracing graphics. We don't know much about the physical size of the Battlemage GPU yet. Early rumors said if it would be a high-end graphics card, then the size would be big. But newer rumors suggest Intel may make it a mid-range graphics card instead of high-end. If Intel aims for the mid-range market with Battlemage, the physical size and chip area will probably be smaller compared to what was first rumored for a high-end card. Currently, Intel's best graphics card is the Arca 770. This high-end card has a chip size of 406 square millimeters. If the Battlemage GPU targets mid-range performance, we can expect a similar physical size to the A770, or maybe a bit larger. Recent leaks claim the Battlemage chip size will be a little larger than the 406 square millimeters of the Arc A770. This matches the idea that Battlemage will be a mid-range rather than high-end card. The Battlemage GPU could be a big change for the market if Intel does things right. Having a good price cheaper than Nvidia and AMD could make Battlemage very appealing to budget gamers, especially if it still performs well. A potential advantage is Intel's focus on artificial intelligence and machine learning. This could lead to better graphics like ray tracing and in-game AI, making games look and feel more realistic. The new adamantine cache memory is interesting. If it works well, it might boost Battlemage's performance over previous Intel graphics cards. However, there are potential downsides too. Rumors suggest Intel may cancel the highest-end, most powerful version of Battlemage. This would leave hardcore gamers without an ultra-high-performance Intel option. As a completely new graphics card, the first Battlemage GPUs might also have some early issues with drivers and performance stability, which is common for first-generation new products. The Battlemage GPU has promising advantages like good pricing, AI graphics, and new cache tech. But there are risks like no high-end model and potential early issues. How well Battlemage does may depend on which advantages and disadvantages turn out to be real. Intel hasn't announced Battlemage GPU prices yet. But if it focuses on the mid-range market, pricing will be very important to compete well. A good lower price could help Intel win over budget gamers. That's all for today, thanks for watching.